I will praise you, Lord, among the nations. I will tell of your name to my kin. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, acknowledging our sin, confident of God's love and mercy. You were sent to heal the contrite, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. You bring pardon and peace to the sinner, Christ have mercy, Christ have mercy. You intercede for us at the Father's right hand, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life, amen. Let us pray. O God, life of the faithful, glory of the humble, blessedness of the just, listen kindly to the prayers of those who call on you, that they who thirst for what you generously promise may always have their fill of your plenty. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The word of God continued to spread and grow. After Barnabas and Saul completed their relief mission, they returned to Jerusalem, taking with them John, who is called Mark. Now there were in the church at Antioch prophets and teachers, Barnabas, Simeon, who was called Niger, Lucius of Cyrene, Manian, who was a close friend of Herod the Tetrarch, and Saul. While they were worshiping the Lord and fasting, the Holy Spirit said, Set apart for me Barnabas and Saul for the work to which I have called them. Then completing their fasting and prayer, they laid hands on them and sent them off. So they, sent forth by the Holy Spirit, went down to Seleucia, and from there sailed to Cyprus. When they arrived in Salamis, they proclaimed the word of God in the Jewish synagogues. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O God, let all the nations praise you. O God, let all the nations praise you. May God have pity on us and bless us. May he let his face shine upon us. So may your way be known upon earth, among, among all nations, your salvation. O God, let all the nations praise you. May the nations be glad and exult because you rule the peoples in equity. The nations on the earth you guide. O oh God, let all the nations praise you. May the people praise you, O oh God. May all the peoples praise you. May God bless us and may all the ends of the earth fear him. O oh God, let all the nations praise you. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. I am the light of the world, says the Lord, 
Whoever follows me will have a light of life. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus cried out and said, Whoever believes in me believes not only in me, but also in the one who sent me. And whoever sees me sees the one who sent me. I came into the world as light, so that everyone who believes in me might not remain in darkness. And if anyone hears my words and does not observe them, I do not condemn him, for I did not come to condemn the world, but to save the world. Whoever rejects me and does not accept my words has something to judge him. The words I spoke it will condemn him on the last day because I did not speak on my own. But the Father who sent me commanded me what to say and speak. And I know that his commandment is eternal life. So what I say, I say as the Father told me. The Gospel of the Lord Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We have in the readings today an element of mission, of being sent. We've heard Jesus himself say that he was sent by the Father, and he says what the Father tells him to say. Uh, Jesus isn't just kind of making this up on the fly. He hears what the Father says, and that is what he has spoken. That is how he has attested to the truth. In the first reading today, we have also the element of mission. Barnabas and Saul have been set aside by God for the mission to which he would appoint them and show them what they had to do. So the community, first of all, prays for them, fasts and prays, and then imposes hands, lays hands on them, commending them for their mission. And it, we hear that it is the Holy Spirit who is directing this and sending Barnabas and Saul as they begin their first missionary uh, journey. Sent with the words of the gospel to announce Jesus who is crucified, risen from the dead, and now sits at the right hand of God, interceding for us. They go, first of all, to the Jewish community, to the children of Israel, and we'll, as we continue on in the Acts of the Apostles, we'll see that they're not well received. Uh, this new way is not what people want to hear. And so the mission then goes to those who are non-Jewish, to the Greek world, to us. Ultimately, it comes to us that we have received the word of God through this missionary journey of Barnabas and Saul announcing the gospel, announcing Jesus. There is this element of mission, as I said, Jesus being sent by the Father, Barnabas and Saul being sent by the Holy Spirit, commissioned for this mission to go evangelize and announce the good news. But the, the missionary aspect of the church continues to this very day. You and I are also sent on mission. We're... We're sent 
at the end of every Mass. <laughs> Go and announce the Gospel by your life. That's how we are to be missionaries and to evangelize and to catechize, to instruct those who, are, who have turned to Jesus the way, uh, to form them in this way so that they know how to listen to the voice of God and how to fulfill it with their, with their deeds, uh, the decisions that they make, the values that they espouse, how they live their life will give witness to their faith in Jesus that they have, that they're convinced that he is the light of the world as he said in the gospel today, I have come to be light, uh, to scatter the darkness of error and evil and sin and to have us have our eyes open, illuminated, so that we can know the way and the truth and come to the fullness of life with Jesus, who is seated at the Father's right hand. This is our story that we're hearing in the Acts of the Apostles throughout this Easter season, the story of the church, how we have been called by God, consecrated by God, and commissioned by God to go forth in the name of his Son and to proclaim good news. May all who, with whom you come in contact today know the good news of Jesus through your, peaceful, your peaceableness, your gentleness, your kindness, your goodness, your generosity, your good humor, your patience, the smile that you offer. All of these bear witness to your faith in Jesus and the new life that is ours through our baptism, which we're celebrating in this Easter season. Let us pray. We pray for the church that she may be faithful in fulfilling her mission to go out to all the world and proclaim the good news. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the church's missionaries and evangelists and catechists, for all who preach the word of God, those who teach it, those who form people in the word and form them in the faith, that they may need they may never tire in the, of this task of announcing Jesus. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all leaders of government who have to make the decisions regarding the coronavirus to keep the public safe, but also to keep business going that the wisdom of the Holy Spirit that directed Barnabas and Saul to go on the missionary journey and guided their steps may also guide the deliberations and the decisions of these leaders. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all who are being instructed in the faith, inquirers, uh, children who are still being catechized uh, now at home uh, for the elect who are still awaiting their baptism, that all of these people may know the power of God working in their lives through the power of the word which they hear. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are experiencing any kind of difficulty during this time of pandemic, may the Lord be their strength and their courage. Give them hope and also help them to persevere, to live their lives with hope 
and joy and peace, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those commended to our prayers today, for those who are the ministers of the Ladera Nursing Home, for their intentions, for the repose of Keith uh, Nigel, uh, Nigel, who is the father of one of our priests, uh, Keith died recently, and for my grandfather, Abel Sanchez, uh, who died 82 years ago on this day. May they rest in peace. And for all who have died, may the Lord receive them into the company of the saints. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for you, the parishioners of St. Joseph on the Rio Grande, for all of your needs and your intentions, may the Lord hear you and grant you your prayers. We pause in, in silence for a moment that you might present your intentions and needs. Loving God, we thank you for sending out Barnabas and Saul and all the apostles. This church that we are a member of is an apostolic church based on the faith of the apostles and proclaiming your son Jesus as risen from the dead. May we who have received this faith through their preaching continue the, to announce this good news to everyone everywhere, at all times. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Amen. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant, we pray, that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, Every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. 
Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice on my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and John, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. I have chosen you from the world, says the Lord, and have appointed you to go out and bear fruit, fruit that will last. Alleluia. An act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. Through Christ our Lord, amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Regina Celi Letare, Alleluia. Qui ha quem heruisti portare, Alleluia. Resurrexit sicut dixit, Alleluia, ora pro nobis Deum, Alleluia.